So the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is finally here. It's got a brand new Snapdragon 855 processor, but what you want to know is how well do games play on this phone? Let's find out. So we got our Galaxy S10 Plus today at the Unpacked event. I finally got my hands on this device. It is right here. And you know, the first thing I did was install games. Yes, I installed a bunch of games because this is running the brand new Snapdragon 855 processor, which is supposed to give us about 37% more GPU performance and about 26% more CPU performance, which means games should look much better. Plus, you've got eight gigabytes of RAM, or you can get a 12 gigabyte version if you want to spend more money. The S10 Plus comes with vapor cooling chambers. So that means while you're playing, this should run really warm. Let's start off with the very first thing you notice with the Galaxy S10 Plus. It's got that lovely dynamic AMOLED display that has the hole punch at the top right hand corner. So it's a little distracted. Does that distract you from your gameplay? Well, I don't think so. I think it's well placed, even though it kind of looks annoying, but if you flip it around, it's at your bottom right, or if you hold it the other way, it's at your top left, and it doesn't interfere with your gameplay. It doesn't matter what games you play. Now, if you notice throughout this video, you're going to see that a lot of games are not at least optimized for the screen resolution because this device is still not out, at least at the time when I made this video. So that, of course, will change over time. Some games like Fortnite are, full, uh, are not fully optimized for it, Asphalt 9 is, to use the whole screen real estate, but it is such a lovely experience. So, you know what, instead of me talking and talking and talking, let's check out some gameplay. It's clear the Galaxy S10 Plus can handle games really well. The Snapdragon 855 processor is a smooth beast. It is butter smooth. Everything we threw at it ran pretty well. The only game that had a little tasking to it, and I'm talking about in terms of heat dissipation, was the F1 game, the F1 racing game. That being said, it ran really, really well. I was surprised how smooth it was, and also I was surprised at how cool the device was, especially um, unboxing it, installing games, and running it immediately. It ran really cool for about an hour and a half of gaming. I did a lot of gaming just to see how well the Galaxy S10 Plus handles, and it does handle games well, and it runs really cool with that vapor chamber. Now, the other thing you'll probably question is battery life. 
We know the Galaxy S10 Plus has a 4100 milliamp battery. So what I did was I left it on optimized and also turned on adaptive power uh, management. And I went from about 50% down to 25% battery life, which is pretty good for the amount of gaming I did. Plus it showed that the adaptive battery management really works even when you're doing a high intense task like gaming on your smartphone. So that is something that's really key and something I like with this device so far. One more thing Samsung did mention about the Galaxy S10 Plus that's very unique to this device is the fact that it's got Dolby Atmos gaming, which is a, a version of Dolby Atmos that should give you enhanced audio. I can explain it, but let's take a listen as we play some um, Asphalt 9. Overall, I think the Galaxy S10 Plus is a solid gaming device. This is the first device we've seen with the Snapdragon 855 processor that handles really well. Now the 845 was really smooth last year. I think this year you're gonna find that the 855 is just gonna go butter all the way through. And the S10 Plus really does a good job with the vapor chamber cooling, with the amount of RAM you have there, with the Dolby um, uh, Atmos gaming audio, with the dynamic AMOLED display, even the hole punch, it comes together really well in a nice package. Whether you're gaming sitting down, just using the phone, or you're using the controller like the Steel Series uh, Stratus Duo, which is an awesome game controller. Uh, and I'll have a link for you guys for the video on that. You can check it out. But I use that to game whenever I travel. I just had to use it with this as well. So you can clearly see how the screen looks in this device. I can go on and on and on and on and yap all, all that stuff, but it's clear from this video, the S10 Plus does a fantastic job gaming. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy S10 Plus or gaming on this device, let me know, I'll try to answer them for you. If you want that Naruto wallpaper, use our link down below to go ahead and download it and also check out all the wallpapers. And if you wanna pick up the Galaxy S10 Plus, use our Amazon link to support the channel. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.